Well, after three years of planning and construction happening this morning, the new building for America's second harvest of coastal Georgia will have a ribbon cutting ceremony. Our Shay Schrader joins us live outside of that building. Shay, you got an exclusive look inside the new facility. What can you tell us about it? Yes, good morning, Kyle and Aria. I can tell you that this building is nothing short of beautiful on the inside, but the other major thing I noticed about it when I was taking a tour is just how big it is. You can't help but notice how much bigger this building off of Chatham Parkway is than Second Harvest's current building on President Street. And in speaking with the folks that run the organization, they say that the sheer size of this building is going to help them serve their 21 counties more efficiently. We really and truly will be in this building in the next couple of weeks, and so it's really been a three-year process, but it's just it's just kind of overwhelming to think we're finally going to be here. When Second Harvest's operations do move to the new building, Crouch says volunteers and patrons should find that it's bigger and better. The new facilities come equipped with expanded volunteer spaces. So it's going to let us have more volunteers in to be able to community projects. And a much larger kitchen, which Crouch says will drastically increase the amount of fresh meals they're able to pack and distribute, including kids' cafe meals. Right now where we are, because of cooler and freezer space, we can only do around 4,200 meals a day. This kitchen is built that will actually long term be able to be over 10,000 meals a day. The new space also comes with 10 loading docks. That's eight more than they have now. And of course, a pantry that carries non perishables. It also features office and training spaces for staff and volunteers, as well as a cafe area for volunteers. Crouch says that since the project was first conceived three years ago, the need in the community has grown, making the completion of the new building more important than ever. She adds that everyone in the community is invited to the ribbon cutting. Think about stressing about how you're going to put food on the table for your children tonight. I mean, that has to be an overwhelming thing for a parent to have to worry about. We want everyone to come see their community food night. That ribbon cutting is at 10 o'clock this morning, and then in a couple of weeks, second harvest operations are fully going to move into this new building. Make sure you tune in with us uh, to morning break later this morning. I'm going to have some live interviews with folks that were key to making this happen, and I'm going to have a closer look at what that ribbon cutting is going to entail. For now, live in Chatham County, Shay Schrader, WTOC News. Well, if you want to see 